Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. Hope you're having a great day. Well, today we're going to have part two of Easy Craft Art and we're going to open up some cross stitch. So let's take a look at these and see what they're like. <coughs> Sorry, I had to adjust a few things over there. Fantastic. Strip of glue came right off the glass. Alright, that's fine. We're good. Let me lay the crinkly part up there so you don't have to listen to that. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know. That, I don't think it goes that way. I think it goes this way. Because he's like jumping out of the water. You've got some cranes. But look at those beautiful colors. This is going to be 50 by 50. Comes with a lovely booklet. It has 28 colors, nice clear pattern, nice and big. It's kind of like the classic cross stitch without that, that name across it, but very nice, very lovely. Look at it, all the different colors. Holy cow. Comes with an instruction page. Oops, let's get it right. Right side up, Laura. Yeah, that's nice that they give those for people that have never done that. Let's see what's in here. We have a tool kit. It has a poof ball, a thimble, one, two, three needles, I believe. Nope, I take that back. There's four needles and a needle threader, which they're just lovely. I love those things. They might be cheaply made, but they last like iron, unless you lose them. Let's take a look at the beautiful colors. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those blues and browns. Mm, just gorgeous. Trying to keep it. It does have the little loop method here, you know, where it just goes through the slot. Not a fan, but hey, it works. And they're nice and long threads. Let me get that one out of the way so we can see all these beautiful colors. Look at those colors. We have like a burgundy and a black. I'm assuming that's 310 because it usually is. You have a gray and some two shades of gold. Look at all the reds and there's a fuchsia, like a dark fuchsia, dark blue, and then two shades of royal blue. And look at that sea foam green. <gasps> Yummy. Yummy. Love that color. Nice, soft, beautiful threads. Let me just get them all together here so nothing happens to them. But just look at the colors. Just beautiful. Bright, vivid colors. All right. Now this might take a hot moment, so get yourself ready. Pause. Go get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, some hot chocolate, whatever works for you. It does come with two more needles down here, which is nice. This is an 11 count. Look at that. I'm going to back you out and back you up just so you can see what's going on. And this is the top. Look at how big that key is. Just absolutely beautiful. The keys are different. The one on the, the, uh, the graph is different from this one. But this is nice, big, lovely. And you can see all the colors. Very bright very vivid oh, need some light here just easy to read because it is 11 count and there's the top of his head so it's going to be around and let me look and see let me look and see do I have him oh the coy he's 50 by 50 it doesn't say that on this canvas it does have It does have the uh, product number down here on the bottom, but just beautiful canvas. Nice canvas. It is surged all the way around. Let's couldn't find my my tape measure. Let's give it a tape. It is fifty, right on the money. Now it does have a salvage end, salvage end at one end. 
So it's 51, but if you counted from the salvage, it'd be 49. So, centimeters, that is. And this way, if I could just get it on the line, we'd have it made. It is 42 by uh, 41 centimeters, so 16 by... Oh, come on. I hate it. 16 and a half. So it's a little oval, but it's still beautiful. It's just got lovely colors in it. They're nice and they're bright. You can actually see them. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And I just love that picture. Look at that how bright and vivid that color is. At first, you know what I thought those were? Were like little flies. And I never paid attention in the picture. I just thought they were flies coming out of the water. I love the waves. But they are cranes. I will hold it up so you can see it. Just beautiful. Just gorgeous. And it's got straight backs. I mean, straight backs. Wouldn't that be a nightmare? Straight <laughs> cross stitch. So, yeah. That is a beautiful kit. I'm going to put these things right here in the middle <coughs> excuse me still windy I'm telling you we're not gonna get out of this until winter so that's the first one let me get some water over here oh my goodness I brought my water jug today I just mm, could not handle it between drying up and all the wind it's just great okay let's look at this one it says believe in the magic and it's a Christmas one from DIY Cross Stitch. Let's get it out of its bag. And it doesn't say what size it is on here, but it might on the, the canvas. Let's see, I've got a wreath. So, Christmas wreath. Where is it? Snowman Reef is 40 by 40 is what it's going to be. And it was only $6.99. The, what did we just do? The fish was $8.99. Beautiful. So there's no toolkit. You do get a paper pattern. It needs to be blown up. I mean, it's clear, but it's really teeny tiny. Now this key right here will match the key on the canvas. It does say it's a 40 by 40, 129 by 129. It is an 11 count, and it has 19 colors. So let's just look at the beautiful colors first. That is a really good picture of it, though. Got a little rabbit with bird. You got a cardinal and some nice ribbons around and the lovely snowman. He's so cute. And little snowflakes. It's just an awesome little picture. Okay, let's see here. Well, if I can get it there. Now, this. Huh. Let me look at something. Let me check something. See if I got it right. Nope, it's an 11 count. But it's a partial. Get all the strings pulled together here. So we can see what's going on. There we go. So you got pinks and like a, a light pale pale olive green. A couple reds. Darker red down here. Darker greens. And number 14 is, looks like, let me throw that up there. Yep, 3371. It's a nice dark brown. And reddish color brown. Oh, everything's just going to fall now. There we go. But beautiful colors. And you've got some white. It's probably B50. 3865, which is a blue tinged. But I don't see much blue. But once you get it next to something, it might have a, a, a tinge of blue in it. Nice long threads. Love that part. 
So we will see. Let's take a look at the beautiful canvas. Turn it around. It has the product number here. It says it's a 40 by 40 and it's 129 by 129. Nice, big, easy to read key. These are the colors of the threads and this is a DMC number, your symbol, and the number of the actual threads. So it's not very big. You just stitch the color. So this would be a good one for somebody that was new at this. Does have some confetti in it, little bits and pieces here, but I think it'll be beautiful. Be interesting to see what it looks like. Okay, let's measure the canvas. It is 39 and a half by just get it there. Come on. By 40 and just a teeny bit more. You do have two two needles here. It did not come with a toolkit, no. First one did, but this one didn't. So the actual size of the pattern is 20, 27 and a half, so it's almost 11 by 20, eh, about 28. So 11 by 11. Nice, easy to read symbols. I love that part. Just absolutely love it. Just beautiful. And I like that it's nice and easy to read. I hope that is well as I can. Sometimes I'm kind of shaky at best, but you can see all the symbols. They're easy to read over here, easy to read on the canvas, and it's not that big. So it's great. I'd like to stitch that one immediately. Love it. Now Easy Craft Art has lots and lots of stuff. They have Diamond paintings, diamond painting crafts, cross stitch crafts. They also have pre stamp and counted cross stitch and a separate Joy Sunday uh, store. And they have a separate section that asks you if you're a beginner or intermediate or advanced, you know, stitchers, so that they can point you, stitcher or diamond painter. I can't remember which one it was, but I think it's on the cross stitch. You know, which level you're at. You can go look in that section and know those are beginner kits or those are intermediate or those are advanced, you know, which I think is very nice for people that are just starting out in this and they don't know all that. So that's a good thing to have. The next one it says Merry Christmas has a girl and a boy and they're dressing up a snowman and they got themselves a little dog. Isn't he cute? It's called Merry Christmas. It is 14 count and it's 31, I mean, excuse me, 21 by 30. Joy Sunday, great bag. Instructions on the back, as always. Reusable bag. I love these bags. They should all come in bags. I don't care, just as long as it was receivable and holds everything. You know what I mean, jelly bean? Let's get rid of the baggie. And this one says Merry Christmas. It's 20 by 21 by 30 and it was $15.99. No, it can't be. I'm sorry, it was $5.99. Holy cow, it's like $15.99? No, even if it is a Joy Sunday. Nope. Nice, lovely key. It has full stitch, full stitch, French knot, and back stitch. So there's very few French knots here. I can only see four of them. Lovely symbols. There are 29 colors. Nope, 30 colors. I lied. See, there's 30 right there. And the pattern's all on one page. Very easy to read. Just beautiful. Now this key will not match the canvas, so just be prepared. But I just thought these little ones are so cute and so detailed. And since it's 14 count, you know, the detailing is just going to show up big time. Let's take a look at the colors. You get two needles. And there are enough threads to fill up the entire card. So here's the first batch. Look at those blues. There's blue in the background. Those two blues. 
and then there's some red and orange and gold. Mm. And that's a beautiful green, blue-green color. Isn't that gorgeous? Lots of gorgeous colors. 30 colors for something this small. It's not too small, but I think it's about 8 by 10. There's the rest of them. Aren't they beautiful? Nice, soft threads. These are short ones. That's fine. But there seems to be a lot of them. You only use two strands. So you should have plenty of thread to get through that. Should. You would think. Let's take a look at the canvas. I'm going to fold it just a bit to get it to lay flat. Whoops. Let's get it right side up. I like the writing. Isn't that beautiful where it says Merry Christmas and there's some back stitching along there? Just looks real old timey. Look at her little coat. She's lucky to have a little coat on. That way she's warm all the way down. Just beautiful. Hmm. You really can't tell that's what that is, right? I mean, come on. It looks a little confetti, I have to say. You have your surged all the way around. It's a joy Sunday. If I didn't say that, now hang on, let me look. That last one I showed you of the wreath was not surged. I, sorry if I didn't mention that. I try to. So it says down here, full stitch. You can see all the numbers all the way across. Let's turn it sideways. Then you have the rest of your colors on full stitch. This is your French knot color, and I can read that it says 3799. And your back stitch, so it's very well printed. It's 92 by 128 high. Let's take a look and see how big it is. It is a little a hair over 21, and this way it is about, I'm trying to get it where it needs to be, just a hair under 31 that way, and the whole picture is mm, a little bit over, it's like almost 17 centimeters, which is a little over six and a half by so it'd fit in an 8 by 10 because this way it's 9 so if you had a lovely little background you know uh, material you could put on a piece of cardboard then put this down you know all folded down and stitched around or whatever to have a little border you could have a little border and put it in an 8 by 10 and it's 23 inch or centimeters 23 by oh a little bit under 17 so 17 by 23 nice easy to read isn't that beautiful and joy sundays are guaranteed they are just guaranteed to be beautiful and suck us all in to get more because we need more but I'm liking their, their Christmas and winter. Well, this one actually says Christmas, but if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have to put the Christmas part there. You could just put, make everything else and just have it as a winter picture. It's still a lovely one, little picture. Just lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like that one. And it's not too big. It's just the right size. All right. Let's look at this one. This is called a Poppy Flower Vase, and it is a 16 by 16, so it, you know it's not very big. And it looks like just straight cross-stitching in this. So this is be a, a lovely beginner one. Same instructions on the back. Lovely plastic bag. Love you, Joy Sunday. Oh, and if I didn't point it out, hang on, I'll point it out on this one. The, hang on turn this over. See how it has H535? It says H535 here on the canvas. But look at those bright, vivid colors. Isn't that just beautiful? And it would, since it's just cross-stitch, it would be lovely for a beginner person to start on. It's not very big, so you don't have to get all frustrated and everything. 
Nice big key. It has 17 colors. Nice, easy to read key. This will not match the canvas, just saying, just so you don't expect it. Let's take a look at the colors. Now this is one of the cards from Joy Sunday that actually has, it has two needles, but I was going to say it actually has the H535, which I pointed out on the front of the page, that it goes with this canvas. Tells you how many strands, the DMC numbers, and the color of the threads, or the, the number of each of the threads. But look at all those bright colors. You can have some white here. I don't think you can see it. Uh, it's 5200. But just beautiful. Just a beautiful little kit, and it's not very big. It'd fit in a 6x6 six six frame. It looks like I'll measure it here in a minute. But isn't that just beautiful? Hmm. So if you wanted to give this as a gift for Christmas, you know, for somebody, maybe a teenager or a young person that just moved into their house, don't have a lot on their walls, they could sew something for their new house. It'd be a lovely little housewarming thing that they could do for themselves or you could do for them. Yep, let's see. It is, the actual is four and a half by almost a little over four and a quarter. So you, if you had, yeah, if you had a five by five frame, you'd have just enough, maybe a, eh, maybe a quarter inch all the way around. Or you could put it in a six by six, you know, with another piece of cardboard with some different color, kind of dress it up. These kits are just stunning. Surged all the way around. It is little hair over 15 by 15 on the money this way and it is 16 by 16 but the actual picture is about 11 by 11 centimeters but isn't that beautiful nice easy to read pattern bring it up so you can see it and you can see all the symbols all the way across looking I have my white paper behind it. All the symbols all the way across you can see clearly. And you can see the numbers and read them very clearly. All you're really worried about are these top numbers and what the symbol looks like. After that, you're done. And it only takes two strands, so you'll have plenty of thread to go with that one. See, it says cross stitch on this side, but when you turn it over, it does have the the number and all the schematics. I think that, I don't know if this is the new way of doing, or these are older kits. I have no idea. It should have a, let's take that a look at that. I never look at that. Can I see a, I don't see a copyright anywhere. Let me look at the, see if there's one on the back. No, no, no copyright. I thought maybe there was a copyright. And then we could tell how old or new they were. But no copyright anywhere. I'm not seeing one. Mm -mm. I thought maybe there would be. Oh, well, it would be interesting. Is there anything on that? Um, nope. Not unless it's in Chinese, but I'm not seeing it. Just checking. Because I've noticed I've gotten some that are like that, and I have some that are the way that we've all been getting them for the past 10 or 15 years. All right, we have another one. This is called, it says, Have a Very Merry Cakey Christmas. And they're all cupcakes, done in green and reds. This is by DIY Cross Stitch. Let's take a look at it. I told you this is going to be a moment. We got a few more. There's the picture. Isn't that lovely? Just lovely. And I'm assuming, yep, it's going to have this border all the way around because it looks like it's stitched. It has 
get hold of it. Now, a lightweight, light colored, what do you call it? Graft. It's a 40 by 35, 129 by 108. And the cupcakes were $6.99. Yeah, let me see. I'll have all this information below, and you can go check it out. Now, this key will match the key on the canvas. It has 24 colors. It has just a little bit of backstitching, you know, where these words are. I don't think that there's any other backstitching. You could embellish it however you wanted. You could add beads because they're cupcakes, you know what I mean? Are you following me, Vern? Yeah, you could do lots of stuff. Let's look at all these beautiful colors. We got some reds and greens. Like a dark salmon over here. And like a medium salmon. Salmon, if I could just say it. I want to look at that. Number five. Nope, it's 232. I thought maybe it was 490. Just beautiful colors. But yeah, you could get real crazy and put bugle beads on it and sequins and all different kinds of embellishments if you really wanted to. I don't have a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. I have like seed beads, of course, but not not different sizes of them. But just beautiful, beautiful colors. Just beautiful. Let me put that up there. Let's take a look at the canvas. You have two needles here. It's kind of long. You have the product number. It says it's a 40 by 35, 129 by 108. This is also 11 count. So were, was the one I just... No, it was 14 count. I'm sorry. We're lying here. Look how big that key is. Look how big that key is. Just absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I just thought it was cute. And it's a partial. And they do have the uh, back stitch all printed there. All you got to do is put lines over it. And you're done. You don't have to guess or worry about it or count. Nope. It's all right there. Isn't that beautiful? <coughs> I might go out of my way to find me some different size beads to put all over these here and there. I just think it would be gorgeous. Mm. Easy to read symbols. This is the color of the thread. This is the DMC color. The symbol on this canvas and on your, your chart. And these are the numbers of the colors. But nice, easy to read. They are a little bit confetti. So you could work on one, one cupcake at a time. I just think it would be cute. Just cute. They do have a little bitty picture. I'm trying. Right there. It doesn't do it justice. But it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Love it. Let's see. It is. 35 and a half. By... Now, it does have a salvage at the bottom by 39. So, they've taken that into account. The actual picture is 20, we'll call it 25 because it's so close. It's pathetic, which is almost 10 inches by 20, uh, about 21, 29 and a half, if I could just talk, which is little over 11 and a half inches by, what was that, 10? Yeah, 10 by 11. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. I just thought it was different. I hadn't seen one like this. I kind of remember a diamond painting at one time point, been three or four or five years ago, where it was like a, a cake shop window-ish thing, and it had all different kinds of uh, cupcakes on it. I I think it was with special drills, and part of it was with regular drills. But it was just, you know, the thing at the time. Just beautiful. 
just beautiful. An 11 count, that would go pretty fast. You could finish a cupcake in a day. You know, depending on fa how fast you, you stitch. But it's just lovely. I got a little Santa with little ho-ho, little dingy things sticking out. But you could put all different kinds of embellishments all over that. Maybe having some hanging stars in there. Or just whatever you wanted. I just don't have all the cutesy stuff. Not all the cutesy beadsy things that would go on that kind of a thing. But I just thought it was neat. Alright, so the next one we have is, we're back to Joy Sunday again. This is the Pansy. And if I can find it. Pansy, Pansy, Pansy. Well, they have it as Purple Peony. We know it's a pansy. It's no wonder it threw me off. All right. It was only $2.99. But a cute little kit. It has a little bit of back stitching, you know, around the outside. Maybe a little on the inside. But not too much. Lovely Joy Sunday bag. All the same there. Let's pull it out and see what it's like. Okay, put that up there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all those pretty, pretty colors. And it says pansy here, but they had it listed in the store under purple bean. It is a 14 count. Has a lovely one-page chart. All your colors are down here. It has 16 colors. And it has full stitch and back stitch in it. Like I said, it's just a little bit here and there. And it wouldn't be real hard back stitch to do. It's just outlining the flowers and kind of the center of the flowers. So that blue line is 310. So you need a little definition in there. But just a lovely one page thing. Let's take a look at the colors. Comes with two needles long threads but look at all those beautiful beautiful colors oh my goodness they're so br look at the greens <gasps> mm. and that purple it looks like easter i swear i don't think i've ever seen pansies quite that color but you know not like that you know you have your purple and you have your pink or whatever but i never saw any that was what two three shades of pink and purple maybe three shades of purple two shades of purple Okay, there's one. Nope, there's two or three. So, But just absolutely beautiful colors. Just beautiful. I'll lay them down there. Look at that bright orange and that bright yellow for the center. Mm. Lovely. I'm going to have to start doing some of this. Yeah. Oh, and here's your B5200. The white goes in there somewhere. So this is a full coverage. So there's just a little spot of white there. Oh my goodness, we got a little rat's nest going on. What happened to y'all? Y'all just came from the factory? Come on. Everybody straighten up. But beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. All right, let's take a look at the canvas. And as you can see, it's not very big. It does have product number, and I don't know what this number is. But both those numbers are right there. See, there's three, four. 48 and H409. All here. Was it on the. Nope. I thought maybe. See, this is another one that's just like we've been getting for the past 15, 20 years. Doesn't say any more on it. So that's fine. But look at that canvas. I'm just going to pick this paper up and show you because I think the light shines through it. But nice, easy to read. Easy to read across here i got to lay it down because I get it in light and then I can't see. So 16, and it, you can read all the numbers across the bottom. Now, the back stitching numbers, they're a little smeary. And all this right here, you can tell that that's, it says back stitch. I can read that. But the rest of it's kind of, mm, kind of really small. So I would just refer, oh, refer to here for your colors. On your back stitching, you know where you're going to go with it. It's not like it's a huge, gigantic picture. Let's take a look. Oh, it's surged all the way around, of course. 
I don't know that I have to say that every time when it's Joy Sunday. Because they search everything. It seems like. Okay, 18. By 18 on the money. The actual picture. And you do stitch this border. So that's nice. So it's eh, almost 13. It's like in between 13 and 13 and a half. Okay, go figure. So that is about a little over almost five and a half. So it would fit in a six by six frame with something behind it. I put it there, said five and a five and a half, and then I died. Thirteen and a half by thirteen and a half. So you lose five centimeters one way or another, like between here. But yeah, it's nice and easy to read. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And it wouldn't take you too long to stitch that. It's another great little gift for somebody that wants to start and have just a little bit of a challenge, just a little bit of back stitching. Nothing to get y'all carried away with. Because we know there are ones that are carried away. I need to drink water. All right, just beautiful, and I love those colors. Oh my God, those colors, mm, they're to die for. It looks sprint like spring to me. And that one, did I, t I told you it was only $2.99, so beautiful. I saved the biggest one to last. Isn't that just beautiful? It says, Fresh Cut Christmas Trees, Red Barn Farm. And I don't... Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. I can't read what that says. There's something on that little sign. There's something on that I can't read. They got a lovely Christmas tree in the yard. And look at that sky. Mm. This is from DIY Cross Stitch. You know I like them. I really do. People don't get them, give them enough credit. Let's find where we need to open them. This was my favorite one of all of them that I got. Oh, and there's a dog. You even have a pheasant. You have a cardinal here. You got bows on the trees. You got birds in the sky up there. Mm. Oh, and you've even got a bunny rabbit sneaking out there. So cute. So cute. This one. I don't know if I have the. Oh, come on. Holy cow. Uh, it's 50 by 60 and it was $9.99. So I think that is a really good, decent price for that. But look at all the detail in that. I hope it shows up. I hope so. It has some colors here. Hang on. I want to get to the paper. They put the paper on the inside, which is a good thing. I'm trying. Let me pull it out. See what it looks like. You have two needles. Sorry, three. I lied. Three needles. Usually there's only two. It has a big page, which you could blow up if you needed to. Key will be the same here as it is on the canvas. And it's a landscape type picture. Something on my hand. And it has 25 colors. Just beautiful. Hmm. That one is to die for. Has the product number 50 by 60. It's a 216 by 173. And it is an 11 count. Let's take a look at the beautiful, gorgeous, stupendous colors. 25 colors. And there's so many on this. Look at all those colors. Look at all that thread. Holy cow. They're, they seem equal, you know? There must be 8 or 10 there's nothing on the back. I don't know what that's 1666. I said that about that thing. I can't see it now. Where is it? Is that part? Of, yeah. That's, they have a sticker with the same product number on it. So you don't get them separated. But look at all those colors. Look at the purples. I know that's got to be 550. I'm just calling it right now. 
mm, 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 mm. And look at those blues. Just gorgeous, gorgeous blues. Dark blues. Dark, dark blues. Let's see what's on this side. Got some pale olive color. Sometimes the loops, they don't get in there when you want them to. But look at that rust color. Part of that's going to be that sky. This will be part of the sky. This pink right here. I call it pink, but I don't know what color to call it. Just gorgeous. Look at that. It looks like pale purple next to that green. So I can't tell if that's gray or not. Don't know. 21. 21 is 3743. That doesn't mean anything to me. I see numbers. You know, I know a few. But not all of them. But look at those colors. Aren't they just stupendous? Just stupendous. Hmm. Look at that orange. It's like a rusty orange. Like a bittersweet. That's the word. Bittersweet. Just beautiful. Mm. And soft. And long. Loving it. Loving, loving, loving it. Okay, let us take a look. Big, huge, ginormous canvas. It's at least as big as my autumn house. Trying to get it to lay down. Oh yeah, this will be fun. Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. It is confetti galore. Do you see this part right here where all them trees are? Yeah. It's just one of those that's going to evolve when it evolves after you've stitched it. does have some big areas, but it's a nice, I will hold it up, easy to read canvas. Hold it real still. It has... A big key running alongside, like I said, paper matches this. Color of thread, DMC, symbol, number of thread. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. I just love this. Be interesting to see it evolve and where to start. Holy crap. This is huge. It just looks ginormous. I mean, the, the barn itself is like... Eight inches tall. Yeah, just saying. I know it would probably be smaller in a 14 count, but you know me. Gotta have it. It is not surged all the way around. It's fairly stiff. Not bad. But it does break down. Oh, let's get the whole thing, crazy girl. Okay. From... Okay, it says 59 across by there's no salvage at any side hang on I'm trying to get the thread to lay down it's about 51 inches long the whole thing these kits are just beautiful just absolutely beautiful I am just pleased and excited. I want to start them all. But we know that can't happen. Okay, it is almost 49 across. And 40 down. Little A hair over 40. So 40 by... What did I say? 40 by 49. Beautiful. So it's almost 40 by 50. Just beautiful. But it is hmm, confetti. <coughs> I don't know. Kind of want to get the barn done first. This would make you want to start those barns. Just saying. And the truck. I think that would be cool. So it would be interesting to see it evolve. Just beautiful. Love it. I loved it when I saw the picture does have a picture right here you really can't tell what it is but yeah just beautiful just absolutely beautiful so yeah and it, it ain't gonna get done this year no it's as big at least of that return from Christmas one that I got you know no 
this stuff, it'll be 10 Christmases from now. We might get this done. But just beautiful. Just beautiful. And something you could work on a little bit at a time. And, you know, to get it done. You'd have to work on that puppy year-round just to finish it in a year. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a slow stitcher, or I just lose interest in it. Oh, there's something else come along. So, yeah, I go on to something else. And it's not that I'm a season. I say that. I'm not a seasonal stitcher, but when it comes time for Christmas, I kind of like to stitch on Christmas stuff. Or a kind, but, and it's not like I can't stitch on them any other time of the year. I don't know. Did any of that make sense? Just beautiful. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but them trees look like a little bit of nightmare. I don't even know. Can you tell the birds are actually in the... Holy cow. Let's take a look. I didn't notice. See, you can't even notice the birds. They're there somewhere. But they're just like little dots at this point. Because it's just confetti. Just beautiful, though. Alright, guys. I think that is it from Easy Craft Art. Thank you Easy Craft Art for all these lovely beautiful kits, diamond paintings and and cross stitch kits. They're just absolutely stupendous. Just outstanding. They do have Christmas stuff in diamond painting, cross stitch, diamond painting crafts, cross stitch crafts. So whatever you're looking for They've got it at this store. And free shipping on international orders over $49.90. So you can't beat that. So just beautiful. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. I think I've told you everything I need to tell you about them. I will have a list of each and everything down in the description box that I just opened today and the ones I've ordered I opened you'll see that already I put those in there as well so thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you tomorrow God bless bye bye keep stitching